My name is Mr. Dama, the jungle guy in Tortuguero. 25 years experience about the jungle. You can fool me in the city, but not in the jungle. I don't respect no man in the jungle. Take the people them walking in the jungle. I show them the arrow frog. I show them the spider. I show them the green feather lands. I show them the coral snake. I have trail. When I reach to my trail, I take the people them, give them a little jungle walk. I give them stars and swinging on the vine. The ladies swing a lot on the vine. Stars and You can spread my news around the world, what I say. We would like, don't want no more rainforest to cut down because we wouldn't see nothing and the younger race then would have nothing to, to live off. What is happening is that we are extinguishing life on Earth at a rate that is a thousand times higher than in any earlier period in evolutionary history. If we continue to extinguish the species without any regard for what might happen, in the future we will probably be one of those species that became extinct. fight for the rainforest. I mean, it's a bigger issue than most people think. The one we are in now in Costa Rica is incredible. It's, it's very impressive. Fight for it, otherwise we will have nothing left in a couple of years. What, what?
I mean, first for people to have a look themselves, to go to a rainforest somewhere if possible, and to read something about it. I mean, what's happening to the rainforest all over the world is terrible. It's really disastrous. I mean, hearing in certain places, I can't call names before the government goes behind me, but places where in a few years, 80 or 90 percent of rainforest will be gone because of capitalism and certain issues that are not that important. Um, it's terrible. I mean, it will affect uh, everything in our world today. So I think that people should definitely fight for this cause. I definitely will be here next year. This is on camera. <laughs> One quarter of all drugs that are now utilized in the world originally were taken from natural products. I've never been in Costa Rica before, this is my first time, but it's so breathtakingly beautiful. rainforest only consists of insects and animals but there's human beings living there and, and they call them the indigenous people and when they destroy the rainforests when they burn them they have to um, evacuate the people I saw a movie called The Medicine Man, and it, and it didn't really strike me like to the, you know, to the heart until I came here. And the movie was about a, they were searching for the cure for cancer, and they found it in the rainforest. And it was a combination of a plant and an insect, and that combination created the, the cure.
if I'm here and somebody admires me and they see me, you know, working for the rainforest, that'll inspire them to do the same. An estimated 500 million people worldwide live in forests, many caught in the clash between development and cultural survival. Like this small group of indigenous people deep inside the Amazon. Some activities done in the name of development have led to murder, human rights abuses, loss of livelihood for those who depend upon forests for their food, clothing and shelter. Go in there and get a reading. Let's do it without the water first. And then turn that hand again like this. That looks great. Straight at me. Beautiful. Soft with the face. Relax. But don't move. Okay. Beautiful. That's beautiful. That's probably a little less light in there. I just hope that there's enough rainforest left for us to continue visiting. The 
the Madagascar rosy periwinkle. It includes a substance called vincristin. Before the medicinal value of these flowers were discovered, nine out of ten children with leukemia died. Scientists took folk medicine claims seriously, and now, with the help of vincristin from the rosy periwinkle, eight out of ten childhood leukemia victims live. But to really experience it and come down here and see that everything is alive and breathing and, 
you know, every turn you turn around, there's something that's just amazing. It's like then you really start to understand that our life depends on this gorgeous vegetation. Father, he's working for an organization that helps with preservation of the rainforest and the Indians. I've learned that I want to do more for the rainforest. I'd like to help out more, and I'd like to spend more time in it. Nearly 100 acres of tropical rainforest disappear every minute of every day in area the size of England or West Virginia every year. Many experts claim this situation is one of the most critical environmental issues facing our planet.
Sabrina Barnett. Here I am in the Costa Rican rainforest. I was born on the tiny Caribbean island of Haiti. And over there, we don't have rainforest anymore. People don't try to do it on purpose. It's just that we don't know. We don't realize that if we get rid of this, it won't come back. I think the Costa Rican rainforest is one of the most amazing places I've ever been. I mean, all around me, wherever I look, is lush, green, absolutely incredible. And um, I just love it. I'm trying to make a difference. I never thought I could, and I always thought, so, well, what's one person going to do anyway? But the bottom line is if one person does it, the other person does it, the other person does it collectively, we really can make a difference. Tropical rainforests are in a belt of 33 countries, mostly around the equator. At the end of the Second World War, the forests covered about 14% of the land surface of the planet. Now experts estimate over half of these primal forests are gone. Here I am in Costa Rica, in the, in the middle of such a beautiful surroundings. We can hear the waterfalls behind. I mean, it's so beautiful.
Action. Right How's there. Like that? That's it. That's the shot. Do it again. On a bracket. Stand a little bit to this. Just like that. Bring that. Bring this up behind you a little bit more. Like that. That's hot. I was brought up in Africa around, around the most incredible, I had an incredible childhood with nature and with savannas and in the middle of wild animals and I guess maybe I'm in myself, I really, it brings me back to that and I'll always, I'll appreciate it because I was brought up with it. survive in big cities and concrete jungles and um, we need a little bit we need people to be aware about the real things and um, listen to the waterfall behind me how, I mean how beautiful and how natural and how that's what earth and it's all about Thailand, November 1988. Normal heavy rains lead to disaster. Swollen rivers overrun their banks, carrying logs in their rush downstream. Huge mudslides sweep through river towns and villages. Over 300 people die, thousands more are injured, at least 100,000 are made homeless. 70% of Thailand had been covered with rainforests in the mid-1940s. A half century later, it was about 15% covered. Action! Right there, that's it, that's the shot.
Um, action. Let's go. Brenda. Quiet Brenda, put this like this. Quiet background. Okay. Yeah, bring it down lower. Maybe she can hold it herself. That looks gorgeous. You're only on this planet so long that you really need to watch what you do, take care of things, and recycle. And um, I would say, don't cut down so many trees. appreciate things in life and just being in nature and I think that a lot of people forget about that they're, they're they just forget that you only live on this planet so long and it's a beautiful place and to take care of it and a lot of people don't do that for a good cause to come down. Not only that, it's wonderful to be with a great crew and to be in a beautiful place.
a great time. I've always wanted to, to see the rainforest and see what it's all about, just learn more, I try to understand. And I'm here and I just, it's, it's like a fantasy <laughs> dreamland. There's some really wonderful people that live here, very friendly, caring people that depend on this forest for their live livelihood, and they're dying. And 200 million people survive off this land, and it's, it's deteriorating day by day, and it, it's really, really sad because they depend on this, and they're just losing their lives and what it's all about. to become aware of what's going on, try to understand what this is all about and how, it, how much it can really help us. How it's, it's our future, this rainforest is our future. Can tropical rainforest be saved? Yes, if public pressures to save forests continue. And yes, if we buy more tropical products that don't permanently damage forests, and stop buying products that do. Only then can tribal people and other forest residents preserve their own way of life and protect the forests in which and from which they live. Only then can tropical soils be saved so that the still unknown species and secrets that are in them can be saved.
thought about the project and I thought it's a great thing we're doing it. You know, it's not, it's not just some normal bathing suit calendar. It's going to be beautiful and it's, it's for a purpose. Like I said, it's really nice, yeah. It's still, I mean, it still looks very green, but there's a lot gone of the rainforest. Have a look, it's so beautiful. There's so many animals living in it. Come away and do something. If left undisturbed, it may take this forest 300 years to return to its former state. But if the worldwide cutting of rainforests continues at the current rate, 40 years, all of the Earth's rainforests will be gone. How much more will be cut and burned? And what effect will this have on our own survival? Will the day come when we cut down the last tree?